hey there, I'm Lox. I'm Fenwa. And I'm Demo Weasel, and I'm still sick. Oh, yes, Loverly. He always sends us to the nicest places. Come on, Sparks. It's not that bad. Can we get a Spyro mouth open staring at Sparks? That happens later. Well, sure. Terrified. All the evil beasts and visions of doom and eternal darkness. Which sounds lovely, by the way. Oh, and the fact that we now get to frolic through the magical creepy forest in search of some stupid tree? What's not the love? God, shut Where's up. It? Let's go. Ah. So what voices does Billy West have besides Fry? Stimpy? Oh, Bugs Bunny, dude. Bugs Bunny? Um, Ren? He's got plenty of voices. They just told him to be himself for this one. Told him to be Fry. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. They're like, Billy West, you are now... BillyWitchDoctor.com. I think any problems with his performance in this game uh, either have to do with the lines that he was given or the... Uh, I would say the direction or lack thereof. They probably just gave him a script, put him in a booth, and had him read all the lines just top to bottom. Yes. So here's the most frustrating shit ever. There are tiny little bugs on Spyro right now, and the only, only way to get rid of them is to jump and hit the attack button. But of course I didn't see, so... Like when I was trying to jump on that mushroom calf. You can't see shit with it foreground plant in the way. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Alright, so this is where you did it right, I guess? Yes, it is. <laughs> That's where uh, you transitioned into the to the dark world. Well, like, nobody uh, like nobody gains anything from watching me sit there and jump and fail several times. I'm not saying that necessarily that that's what happened. But so you're saying that I need uh, I should be editing out the, the failures in my Metal Gear Solid video? Y yes, exactly. There are none. Look at that. Like, why the fuck is the water thing happening? Why is the grass rippling? What, what, is the grass rippling? I have no answer. It's like they accidentally told the grass that it was water. Or maybe it's meant to simulate the rippling of Spyro's... His gargantuan weight. It's like Okami, except fucking stupid. Yes. Trees. This cutscene wrests control away from you in order to tell you that you can't go any further. Dude, he can fit through that hole. It's like a double went Well, no, of course not. Why would he? Oh, man. Even the dogs have names. Welcome back to Legend of Spyro, bore you to shit death. So, uh, yes, these dogs, they're the, easily some of the most frustrating enemies in this game because they have this awful uh, tendency to dash and knock you back. Whoa. He has the war touch, yo. He's got the war power, yeah. He's gonna touch you in your war zone. This game's stupid. Oh, well. Tough shit. You still watching it with me. <laughs> oh, I'm sticking around through the end, but... It's, it's a video game that is shitty. Naturally. Pev Muffin? Vine Weasel? Okay, it's crossed the line. <laughs> and so, yeah, like, I, I believe at this point I'm, I'm trying to work out a concrete way to get these things off of Spyro's body. But, like, I'm, I'm failing. Like, I, I have no idea. And all the while, there are these three enemies that can easily kill me and cause me to respawn. There it is. Okay. So, what kind? Is there any sort of other indicator when you have bugs on you? Does the screen? Does the controller vibrate? Is there some auditory cue that we can't hear? No, I was using a classic controller. I, um, I, but I don't think the Wii remote vibrates either. Uh, maybe the the speaker in the Wii remote tells you. Uh, it makes the sound of chittering bugs. Bugs on you. Like maybe one of these days, or like maybe a better indicator would be a, a huge tooltip that assumes you're an idiot. A blue rupee is worth five rupees. You can knock over some trees, but you can't knock them all over. Oh no, he's, uh, he's, uh, allergic to slime of the dragon element, I guess. Of the element that he shot at Cinder. I, I mean, you know, people are made of carbon, but I wouldn't go with baiting and stuff. That's how this works, right? Okay. Someday your carbon will be stolen from you. Ah. Why do these things bleed so much? Because it's well, it, it's it's like uh, supposed to be gross, like a uh, rated M for mature, rated M for mongoloid. Ah! Whoa, hey! Yeah, what? yeah, that thing just pops you back. Way to cut out your failure states. Did it seriously just do that? It seriously does that, like every time. Like, I wish Bottomless Pits did that. I mean, doesn't like the water do that in Prototype too? Yes, it does, but in a more graceful way. Pro two type. And yeah, here's the uh, one of the majestic Honeybeard family. We saw him in Legend of Spiral 1. Hey, you're flat, yo. 
gonna squeeze all the blood out of you. Uh, was it even the same species in Legend of Spyro 1? I'm pretty sure it was. So, uh, picture in picture. Chalk another one up to reuse art assets. Except now they're dingier and bluer than in the first game. Oh, so this is the, uh, the Killzone 2 to Dawn of the Dragons Killzone 1. We took the same maps and made them blurrier, grungier, and, and browner. Is Spyro 3 going to be taking place in a winter wonderland? Uh, Spider 3 is way, way more colorful than this. <laughs> Spider 3? Uh, Spyro 3. I told- I said Spyro 3. You, you told me that Spider. Spider. <laughs> you said Spider. Uh, you're referring to Spyro Year of the Dragon, right? Spider- Spider the Eternal Darkness. <laughs> oh no. Oh man. Wah, 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 wah. You guys gotta stop, like, stop uh, pointing out the transitions. Here okay, yeah. <laughs> but, but you make them obvious. You, you make, yeah. We have no choice. Um, I have a bunch of Hanna Barbera sound effects you can use for transitions if you want them. Oh man, look at that. Uh, maybe later. Hmm, maybe, maybe in uh, Dawn of the Dragon. Like, I'm finished editing all these videos, so. Publicly licensed background music from Ren and Stimpy. Pretty good, yo. Oh, this is the video where I start uh, speeding up the dragon time segments. Ew, worm shooter? Oh, wait, was, did we see that yet? I, yes. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you're just speeding up the whole video. Oh, this is this is great. Yeah, we'll be done with this in like half the time. You can just fast forward the whole video. Fast forward the whole game. Yeah, just, uh, just make the rest of the game three seconds long. I guess I picked and chose some segments. Or you just missed one. I guess. Uh, I hadn't got my editing workflow down. Let's just uh, make this the video editing episode. Yeah. Talk more about the infrastructure. Yeah, there's certainly not, nothing to talk about in game here. To tell you the truth, like, this segment is one of the easily one of the most frustrating. I think I died like four times before I finally made it through this one. It's a gauntlet of shit. Because, like, even if I died here, I would go right back to the part where Spyro just said, here we go. Chill cursor. Oh, good lord. <laughs> God. Uh, yes, you're stuck. Deal with Curse it. Curse with the power of chill. Okay, yeah. Yeah, shrub limb. After a certain point in some fights, I just get pissed off and just spam my breath power as much as possible, even though it severely drains my gauge of green. Your gauge of green. Oh, your green gauge. Yeah. Your end gauge. Oh. There we go. What are we doing here? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, what okay. are we doing? I'm sure what I'm supposed to be looking for. Uh, screen cap that thread title. Lost. What are we even doing? Legend of Spyro, everybody. Thank God. Hmm. That's the end of the game. We won. See? He butterflies like a shithead. <laughs> yes. Mm, come on, try some. It's sparks, don't eat that. You don't even know what it is. It's like, you're talking with your friend or whatever, he picks a butterfly out of the sky and just eats it like nothing. Nonsense. They're perfectly edible. Did you uh, loot that or did that just happen? That just happened. Alright, maggots. Time to spread out. Don't bother snaring anything smaller. I like the I, I like wing. Spyro using his wings as hands. Only wants prize fighters this time. Now these, these are, if you'll notice, their body structure. Yep, they look right. stupid as hell. Ignitus said this place was uninhabited. But we must have taken a wrong turn. All those in favor of turning back? Whoa. Whoa. What, are they just the same body structure as everything else? Yep. The, the same body structure as the apes from the first game. Oh, that means they can reuse animations. <laughs> and from earlier in this game. Yes, exactly. They could just eat the Spyro. Oh man. He had two butterflies. He's tiny and he has no legs. He has no torso, like, beyond his, like, rib cage. Uh, so, uh, how is everyone today? Sheepish. <laughs> Little bug isn't much bigger than a bug rat. Hey, who are you calling a bug, you crazy? Wait, he has wings. Can't he just like fly up and out of danger? Well, yeah, but he's trying to protect Spyro, who is who just passed out. Why did Spyro pass out? Is he a narcoleptic? Because he's uh, he has to learn the power of ice. It's a beautiful thing. Oh shit, dude, where am I? Fuck, it's cold here. Damn it. Oh, you're in the Animus. It's cold here. Hey, I knew you were gonna say that. Exactly. All right, Spyro, it's time to chill out. It's cold here. That means plotting from cutscene to cutscene will take even slower. Chronicler, are you there? I've done what you <coughs> asked of me, but I'm afraid I'm lost. Yeah. As long as the spirits of the ancestors are with you, you are never lost. 
Calm yourself, Spyro. But cool your thoughts. Sometimes I drink spirits with the Chronicler and then I get lost. Do not let your fire control you. There are other Oh, so wait a second. There are other elements other, aside from fire? Yes, there's fire, there's ice, and then there's burrito. So wait, aren't, didn't we learn all these elements in the last game? Yeah, we did, but uh, he has to be taught them professionally. Why does he have to be taught them one at a time? Because the actual attacks that he's supposed to use here are totally different than they were in the first game. Well, I mean, like, why can't they just give him all of the, the attacks at once. Like, yo, Spyro, there's three other elements we should probably teach you. Well, because this is a standalone expansion pack. Because he's not ready for it, you dumbass. Exactly. In the shifting face of danger. Jesus. Fenwa, why are you even here? Fenwa, you need to learn some spy- Oh, here's a puzzle. Oh, jumping puzzle. Here's a difficult puzzle. Oh man, I bet you have to slow down time to get onto the platform. Oh, huh? uh, good ride is the platform. Okay. <laughs> now speed up, now transition to the end of this bullshit. Roll credits. No. I make it a point to depict every... <laughs> uh, like, everything that's required to get to the end of the game. Oh, man. Is this a new enemy type? Um, I guess. Maybe. Jet the Frigid. Claticism the Shredder. Cross Gear the Undead. It's Cataclysm. <laughs> Grave chilled the clever. You're not so clever when you're dead. Ah, yes, the crafty stone. Can't, uh, you can't stand on that shit. He can. Watch. Oh, well, that's not how physics work. Ice tail. Press triangle, 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 triangle. B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B just show up in over six hours of riveting gameplay. Okay, a non-stop action thrill ride. Imagine okay. if, like, you, you know how in in Mario Galaxy they have those platforms that can happen, where like, are you speeding up time for this stuff? I think so. As you walk towards it, like they sort of zoom in out of nowhere. Imagine if every time that happened in Mario Galaxy, it would be accompanied by a cutscene. I, I do like how you speeding up time makes the game look more tolerable. <laughs> yes. Oh well, eventually I speed it up even more. Like, the, right now, this is just uh, speeding up to half the the length that it normally would be. Ah. Um, but later on, I make it a, a quarter, because... To match the speed at which the actual world is moving. Yes. So when you go into slow motion, what you're saying is that Spyro moves at half speed, but the rest of the world moves at a quarter speed. E yes, exactly. So it's like bullet time in Max Payne, but terrible and not fun. Yeah. And terrible. Yes, because uh, as it turns out, bullet time isn't very fun unless you actually have bullets. Who knew? Unless you're actually diving through the air with doves flying out of you. Oh, man. Can Spyro shoot doves from his mouth? I need to, like, beat Stranglehold sometime. I need to pick it up for $5 and then beat it. Tom Clancy's Stranglehold? Tom Clancy's Spyro. Yeah, Tom Clancy. What the fuck are you even saying? Jesus Christ. Beat the enemies to fill your fury bar. By pressing ah. the Zer button. The disinter. Does the if you play the game with the remote and unshock, is there wa are there waggle controls? Yes, there are. Was this game a Wii exclusive? Uh, it does the Zelda thing of having you like shake the remote every single time that you want Spyro to bite at an enemy or whatever. Was this a Wii exclusive? No, it was. Uh, it came out for Wii, PS2, and um, I think a DS or Game Boy Advance, whatever. And of course, the Game Boy Advance game got. Uh, way better reviews. Like that was that was a joystick story at one well, point. Well, yeah, it was probably like a, a 2D platformer. Mm hmm. Hey, uh, you know you know what they made? What, what did they make? Remember, remember what they made at one point? They made those two Game Boy Advance Spyro and Crash crossover games. Oh yeah, like that was by, that was when they were making um, Spyro games for Game Boy Advance every single year. Yep. So you have Spyro Orange and Crash Purple. And they were isometric in the style of the Tony Hawk games. Do you have to buy them both to catch them all? Yeah, you have to buy them both to face the final boss. Um, to get the true story 
Wait, seriously? Wow. Nah, I don't fucking know. I, I wouldn't think any less of you if you actually... I mean, it just seems like whenever you have any game where there are multiple color-coded versions, it's because someone realized that Pokemon was a license to print money and thought they could do the same thing. Bomberman Max. Red and blue. You know, like, um, uh, Mass Effect Red, Green, and Blue. <laughs> okay, now what? What is it you want me to do? I think I'm entitled to know what's happening. You already know what is happening. Of the great evil that is awakening. But there is more that you must understand. No. <laughs> Look at this. Oh Look shit. This. Right. <laughs> this looks so terrible. <laughs> it's like one of those oh my toys. God. One of those toys they like advertised in the 90s with all the slime and shit. The and, like, yeah, like the, the Mighty Max playset. It even looks like a giant head. No, no, you, you make the chocolate gummy worms and then eat them. And they look like real spiders, so you freak out your friends. Creepy crawlers. Yes. With real ooze. <laughs> Uh, this guy's this guy's gimmick was that the the <laughs> that he came in a trash bag that then dissolved when you put it in water and then you got this really <laughs> shitty action figure with no articulation. I'm Fenwa. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> just I, I, I I'm just imagining like some dumbass toy that it, like in big print on its box with real ooze. It's like, what does that mean? <laughs> ah, yes, that's pretty great. 